Hi folks, Steve here at Ross Wheelers. Today we're going to take a closer look at a brand new product line for us. It's called the Alta. It's made by a company called East to West and it is a division of Forest River. It's a great product. We're super excited to have uh, that particular product line in our yard because it is the best build trailer on the market right now. Move over whoever is on top right now. I don't want to name them, but there's a couple of companies that says we build the best trailer. Not anymore. This is it. Um, what's different about them? Well, it's six-sided aluminum framing construction, but each little area is a little different. So let's talk about that. The walls, two inch thick, full frame, and in styrofoam, and they use Asdale. So a lot of customers or a lot of uh, dealers out there says we have a trailer, they use Asdale, it's the best thing ever. Mm, yeah, but if your wall is only one inch thick, that doesn't really do anything to the structure of the trailer. This is a full two inch, uh, fully studded wall. Uh, our floor, two by three. 16 inch on center, uh, in aluminum, deck with 5.8 tongue and groove plywood. It's also, it's got a second layer underneath, so it's, the underbelly is enclosed and it's heated as well. The roof, five inch, vacuum bounded, aluminum roof trust, hardcore styrofoam, all vacuum bounded together. It is one of the strongest roof in the market. Even all of their side walls are bounded together, they're all laminated, they're all solid walls, there's no floppy on the side here, it's awesome construction. Uh, they're also very well equipped, so let's not waste any time and uh, we'll talk a little bit more about the construction along the way, otherwise we'll be at it for half an hour. Electric tongue jack at the front, has LED lights as well, 2 times 20 pounder, a beautiful automotive quality front cap fiberglass, it's painted as well, so it's not a sticker, it's painted. There is a stone guard. Now they use an Orco frame and it's a drop frame. That means that the bottom at the front is lower than the rest of the frame. And by doing that, it allows us to have more height in the storage. Now talking about the storage, the, they have these heavy duty slam latch handles. So they're not plastic like 90% of what's on the market. They're very nice handle. Magnetic holder to hold them in place. Pass-through storage, there is an LED lights on this side, there is a motion detector light on the other side and we're going to take a look at that. Now we talked about the framing of that particular trailer, even the bed base is actually aluminum frame and it's all welded together so if we peek with the camera you can see they're welded on both sides so double welded aluminum framing including all of the structure inside the trailer and we'll talk about that in, in more details when we get inside. Uh, rain gutter spout extension. It's got a very large electric awning with LED light. We got a second door to the bedroom. Triple aluminum entry step. Traditional for the bedroom and a new style for the one going into the trailer. Uh, D-rated tire, eight ply on six bolt aluminum wheel patterns. It's pretty nice, nitro field radial tires. Outside speakers as well. We talked about the underbelly being fully enclosed and heated. A very large door, 28 inch door. It's a friction hinged, so it stays in the position you got it up. The triple entry step, but what I do like is they added the storage compartment right here and it's keyed. So it's great for some of the cleaning product, your leveling block or anything like that. Large foldable entry handle. A spray port on this side. And there was another feature that we didn't really notice, but right by the furnace we have a cable and satellite hookup as well as a power outlet. So if you want to bring a little TV outside, you could. Around the back, our roof ladder, our spare tire and cover, detachable power cord, gas electric water heater, and we are ready for a backup camera. Around the corner, we have our switches for the leveling jacks. All of our slide out has double wiper seals and the bulb is in a track and they all use the rack and pinion system. It's clean, it's tidy. Even the framing of the slide out, you can see here, it's all aluminum as well. And when I was telling you that the slide out walls are all laminated together, that's what I meant, including the roof. Beautiful, beautiful way of doing it. Uh, our tanks are of course enclosed in, in the underbelly, 
but our valves are by the tanks, so they're not open up to the element. But you do have your three valve handles right here, and they actually added a little light uh, for if you arrive late at night. Now, uh, they're color-coded, and there is two gray tanks. So 53 first gallon, 60 gray, and 30 black. You have your black tank flush, your low point drain right underneath here, your switches for individual um, electric uh, leveling system right here, one for the left side, one for the right side, our freshwater connection, and we have our docking station, which I'm a big fan of that. So here's our motion detector light right here. We have the light switch for the front cap light. We have the power outlets, cable satellite hookup, a battery disconnect, your city water connection, and an outside shower. It's pretty much what you normally found on the outside. But what I like about this little space, it's, it's all clean. But they also added this tiny little tray. If anything drips, it would actually go and fall outside, not in the trailer. And they added this little gizmos here. That's for your electric tongue jack. If by any chance the motor die, you can crank it up uh, or down manually. And then, of course, the same for uh, your landing gear if, uh, if it dies. Now, on the other side, another thing that we missed, there is a power outlet as well inside the compartment. So very nicely done. Let's oh, um, ready for uh, a solar panel as well. Let's go inside. Okay, folks, this is a rear uh, kitchen model. It's a 2350 a rear kitchen. It's 28 foot six overall length. It weighs 59.17. It's his dry weight. Uh, I'm a big fan of the rear kitchen because it opens up the rest of the space for, for different laid out. And uh, this is one thing that I really, really like. So the first thing is, we'll start with the kitchen because there's a lot here to absorb. Uh, there's no edge to the counter. It's very nicely done. That little extra that they uh, came out here where the sink is, is pretty nice. It comes with a farmer style sink stainless steel. It's very deep. It's a single bowl comes with a cutting board and a, a commercial style uh, faucet. What I like the most about this space is of course the size of the window in the back. It's 48 inch wide. That's half the trailer. Uh, so you can definitely was, see what's happening out there. And all of the windows will have pleated shades as well. There is two lights and two power outlets right here. This little cubby hole here will hide all the wire that needs to go to the monitor panel, but they left a couple open perfect for the spice, and there's a USB outlet right here on the side. Now at the other end, we have our stove, three burner stove, flush mounted bifold glass cover, there's an oven, there's a light inside and the knob lights up as well. It's pretty nice, I love the finish of that. Um, another feature that I really like is they make their own knife rack. Look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's not made out of wood, so it's not going to fall apart on you folks. And they added a little backsplash uh, to keep things clean. Uh, very slim range hood. Actually, this one's got a, char a carbon filter. So it's, uh, it's, it's, it's awesome. It's, a, it's an upgraded from what we're accustomed of seeing. Stainless steel microwave. There is a couple of cabinets on the top, but more importantly, there is seven drawers in this kitchen. Four on one side, three on the other. Pretty incredible. And there's lots of room on the bottom for a garbage can, some bigger stuff. If you want to put a shelf, you're more than welcome. So, uh, I like the LED lights on the floor. I think we can see that. They also added LED lights on the top of the slide out. All of their model will have that. A new fridge is here. It is a 12 volt fridge. It's extremely efficient. So if you're doing a lot of dry camping, we may have to equip you with a couple of batteries, but rest assured there's no issues using one of those. It cools a lot faster and it stays cold uh, a lot longer. It's a beautiful fridge. It's a 10 cubic foot. So it's a lot larger than the normal size we get in the RV industry. Right here, a hanging closet. It's 26 inch wide, folks. So definitely a few coats can go in here. But if you want to use that room for something else, you're more than welcome. On the bottom, again, look at how deep that is. It will be a perfect spot for maybe the case of water or anything like that. And if you are traveling with furry friends, there is a drawer for your um, 
food and water bowl right here. Pretty nice. The booth, 48 inch wide. If you, you, if you convert this into a sleeping arrangement, it'll be 48 by 72. Uh, there is a couple of drawers underneath, ball bearing hardware. All the drawers, including the one in the kitchen, they're all made out of plywood. And it's pretty nice. You got one on each side. And a very large bay window with pleated shades again. And here's your pantry. It is huge. You get at the bottom and you get at the top. But you can use that space for something else if you want. But uh, there will be no issues. Bring everything you need for a long trip of camping. There is a fireplace. It actually produces heat as well. And then we have a TV that is mounted right here, but that could be used for extra counter, for prep space perhaps, or putting a bowl of salad, or maybe the drink, so whatever it is. Uh, incredible uh, size, really. And then to put the TV up, you have a little switch right here, and it just comes up, it is motorized. 40 inch furry on TV, it's a newer style. Uh, it does pretty much everything. And on the top, the Furian bar, style bar, uh, HDMI and USB connectivity as well. Now everything is wireless, folks. This is what this is all about. Um, it's very, uh, it's, it follows the time we live in now and uh, that's what it is. But if you want to connect another uh, electronic device, you can. You got room for storing it here. There's a power outlets and there's all the connectivity that you can possibly imagine. Now this is a walk-through bathroom. There's a humongous pocket door that's not going to be a, an issue getting through it. Uh, there's a little lock for traveling if you want. And there's also a little magnetic holder so when the door is closed it stays in place. It's pretty nice. Uh, what I like about this bathroom is that it's usable. The space is huge. So first thing first, a nice little vanity in the corner. But look at the size of this sink. You know, you're not going to miss when it's time to brush your teeth. There is lots of storage below. A little extra shelf, perfect for a few towels or toilet paper rolls or whatever it is. There's a medicine cabinet in the corner. There's a window in the bathroom, folks. A window in the bathroom. A light switch on the wall. 36 by 30 shower stall. There's a surround. There's a skylight. And there's a roll up curtain. And it's a very nice quality. And there's a little bit of space left. I decided to put a few shelves. Perfect. Roll your towel, shove them in there. Some linen, no problem. And then you got your toilet foot flush oriented. Now these comes with king size bed. So our front bedroom, it is 72 by 80. It is a king size bed. The bed base is made out of plywood, of course. And gas trot, so you don't need to uh, work too hard to hold it up. On each side, we can see a little bit better. On each side, we have a power outlet and a USB outlet. There is a light switch on the wall. There is a place for a TV. Two LED lights, a roof vent, a window to open, and there is a door to go to the outside. Now, a big, big difference between this particular trailer and a lot on the market is it's easier for the manufacturer to make that, that little cabinet go all the way down. We're here to cut it. So when you are laying down, you're not sleeping against the wall. That is a very nice thing. So, well, you get a little bit of extra bed. It's 72 inch wide, but you're not sleeping against the wall. That's a very nice thing. Um, folks, again, 28 foot 6. I know I missed a lot of things. Oh, one of the things that I really like. 3 inch interior wall, folks. It's not coming. It's not moving. I'm sorry. It's frame. It's, uh, they use real uh, door casing as well. It's a nice finished trailer. Um, I think what it needs is a visit. Oh, pricing? Uh, you've probably seen that on the web and you say, oh, wow, that's interesting for what you're getting. Hey, damn right. That's what we thought as well. So please stop by, come take a look. We'll be happy to demonstrate. Thanks for watching.